Uh, we're sitting here at the Cars Commerce Mass, it's like a land space, actually, uh, with Julie Scott, the VP of B2B Marketing. Uh, Julie, thanks for joining us yeah, today. Yeah, glad, glad to be here. I know, we were hanging out a year ago. A year ago. In yes. Dallas, and yes. we were talking hats and all the cool things, yes. right? Yeah. I still have my shelf of flat brim black hats. I love you it. You guys sit proudly on the shelf next to everything else. Yes, yes, yes. awesome. So uh, back in October when Cars Commerce was kind of announced as the, the new brand forward yes. way of pulling all of this together, which is a massive amalgamation of a family of brands, mm -hmm. um, the media network was one of the biggest announcements a part of that. It was yes. this new way of bringing uh, uh, media access to dealers. Um, and you've been a, a big part of bringing that yeah, to dealers. Yeah, I'm, right? I'm thrilled about it. I mean, one of the things that is sort of happening in every industry, I'll talk about that first, is these things called retail media networks are popping up. And really what's at the core of that, no matter what industry you're in, is first party data. We have been yep. talking about cookie deprecation for a very long time. It is inevitable, it's happening. And when we think about car shoppers, where are they shopping? A place like cars.com, right? Yes. So that first party audience becomes the anchor for the Cars Commerce Media Network. It is, it is the way we are going to enable our dealer customers to be able to better target car shoppers by leveraging our first party data. Yeah, and so uh, as a part, of what what portions of the family of businesses is in the media network currently? Yeah, it's a it really sits? good question. So you know, as the enterprise brand is Cars Commerce, one of our sub brands is the media network. Under that sits quite a few products, but the thing that I'm most excited about today is something called Vin Performance Media, and what that is is follow me on this journey, right? I'm ready. Ready. Let's go. So if you're a dealer, you're spending money on Google. Right, yep. and you're probably doing sponsored search SEM. You're trying to get you know your listing at the top of a search. Right, you're looking at a cost per click. That's good. It's a lot of money. But Lots you're, of but money you're, going to Google. Yeah. But you're wasting it in the end. And I think that's like kind of an uncool thing to say in certain company. But to me, you're wasting money. There is a. T I, I agree. There is a ton of media waste in our industry for totally. sure. Totally. Yeah. And so when I think about what we can do with our first party data, right? We are a place where people are typing in a search. Why wouldn't we also have a search result that gives you that sponsored ad at the top of a search results page, which is essentially all Google is doing, except the difference is, if you're on cars.com, you're shopping for a car, yep. right? And uh, what we're able to do is deliver that same SEM for 56% lower cost per click than Google. Wow. So it's kind of a no brainer in my opinion. So under VIN Performance Media, we're doing that across search, social, and display, and just like, Kind of crushing it. We piloted it before the show. She's like low key crushing. Low key it. crushing it. <laughs> but you know, I think what I like even more so about it is, you know, we got this big brand. Like you said, it's like a city. Yeah. Right. We got this big brand, and you're like, all right, well, what, what, why, what is the media? What what, can, what's the like? What is the value of partnering with a media network under right. a brand like this? And that's that's what exactly. It is. And it, it, I think that we're still like kind of establishing that, but when our dealer customers realize, oh, if I'm on the marketplace and I buy a media product from you, the shopper that is looking at that exact VIN is now, we're now gonna follow that shopper everywhere they go on the internet, right? Yep. And we're gonna keep targeting in that really creepy way, keep targeting that shopper and driving them back to your website. And we are seeing an 88% increase in referral traffic when a dealer wow. is using VIN Performance Media back to their website and of that audience, and a 66% increase in conversion. Wow, I know, that's right? incredible. Like, yeah, turn well, time, because it's, it's the right audience, the right time, the right place, moving them to the right landing spot, and it just makes sense for them to convert. And it's it great. sounds like, oh, if you're in advertising or done this before, you're like, oh, right audience, right time. It's like, it, it's never been tighter, right? We've yeah. we said, I've been in advertising for a very long time. We've always said right audience, right time. No, this is right audience, right time. We know exactly who the shopper is and we're just, Creepily following them everywhere they're going. <laughs> that is awesome. Well, yeah. hey, look, I'll take the creepy following. <laughs> I don't turn off cross app tracking because I believe that that is what customers truly want. They want to be served the right thing when they need it most. And it's, it sounds like with the 66% increase in conversion, you're getting that. So congratulations. Thanks Thank for you. sharing a little bit more about uh, that with us. And yes. I can't wait to see what the media network does next. Yeah, we're excited about it. Thanks cool. for having me. Thanks, Julie. All right.